Good morning boys and girls, it's Tuesday and we're going to visit a farm today. It's a different farm, it's a very large farm, a huge farm, milking over 500 cows by machine, by robots, yes. So we're going to put our wellies on, but before that let's sing the robot song, Never Give Up. Never give up, God is always by your side. Now we're going to go to the farm, way up North Antrim, and we're going to see over 500 cows being milked by robots. Here we go. Boys and girls, here we are in the big cattle shed. On this farm, the farmer milks 500 cows, and he can have even more dry cows. Holsteins, all different types of milking cows, um, different colours, there's red and white, there's black and white. But what's different about this farm is there are robots milking the cows. There's no physical milking. There's no, the cows aren't brought in from the fields. They're kept in 24 seven all year round, kept in the farm. Lots of food to eat um, and they keep milking. Some of these cows can go through the milking, the robot up to five times within a 24 hour circle. So we're gonna walk around some of the cows and have a look at them. So I'm just walking through the cows here and you can see there's lots of cows everywhere. They eat, they rest, they've got fresh water to drink, and they know themselves when their udders are full, it's time to come in to get milk. Then they come back out, they eat lots more, they drink lots more, then they come back in again. So they've always been milked uh, consistently and continually throughout the day and the night, 24 hours a day, the milkers, they keep milking, they don't stop. Here's they get their fresh water to drink. So you can see here when the cows come in, according to their number, they've got a belt around their neck with a number with a tag, and it's all electronic, and it gives so much meal for a cow. When the cows walk in, they can get their feet washed, or disinfectant to keep the cows healthy, to keep them clean. Then they automatically, these cows here are queuing up to go in to get milk, and you can see how, how they go in. Um, whenever they walk in, right away there's a beep, and uh, this, the uh, milker will know exactly 
uh, milk machine will know exactly what cow it is and all how much milk it gives, how much it's going to give and everything's recorded on the computer and you can see here the milk machine there's now milk in the cow so we'll go around the other side and see how it works from the back of it you see here the farm landover looks like a rally car that's used in the farm to go around the fields and you can see it's all the muck to maybe check cattle and here the cattle are eating 24 7 always get constant food this is silage but within the silage you can see the meal it's all put through a mixer and you've got meal you've got barley you've got silage all mixed together so it's a really healthy diet for the cows to maximize the yield of the milk that the cows get so fresh water lots of meal and, and it's always been cleaned out continually happy cows the farmer told me himself he let these cows out one day and they didn't even like them outside because it was raining it was cold and they all turned around and wanted to go back in again so you get used to being where you are so these cows are happy and they're healthy Hello Kai, good to see you. What's your name? What's your number? There's a Kai just once it's empty, another Kai goes in and the back door will close it to stop uh, reversing out. This happens before uh, it goes in. So here's number 306, she's queuing up, getting ready to be milked, but she has to stand in the queue and wait until the other one goes out. So here you can see the, the teats have been washed before they go on to the others to get the milk. Incredible machinery, these robots. Eight of them in this farm. You can see they're nice and clean, nice and shiny. They're going to pop on. So once all four are on, then it's continually milk. You see the milk through the system. Here it goes through the pipes in the milk and parlor. And there's a cow eating its meal. So, so here you can see the cow's number, 306. It talks about how much milk it's giving, it's gave, how much food it's eating, how much meal it's getting. So the lesson, the application, we always like to bring application with our lessons. And for me, it's, this is all computerized. Every cow coming in, uh, once it's scanned, the computer knows every detail about that cow, how much milk it gives, how much meal it eats, if there's anything wrong with the cow, it'll be able to detect it. But th these are all computer programs, there's eight of them, and inside here is a minefield of information. But out today there's been a, an engineer, because one of them had broke down, and if this breaks down, then it needs to be fixed, it needs to be programmed, or it's no good. And I thought, God doesn't work like that. We don't need to be, be programmed. For example, that needs to be scanned to tell exactly what cow it is. God knows all about us, even before the foundation of this world. God knew all about us, all about me and all about you. And I think uh, these cows are wonderful animals, how it all works, how we get our milk. We go into, for example, the shop or into Tesco's, we get our milk in a carton. Have you ever wondered where the milk came from? The cow eats grass. Have you ever thought about this, how a black cow drinks, eats green grass and gives white milk? That's God, how God has made the animal to produce perfectly clean white milk for drinking. A milk's important. Whenever a baby drinks the milk, it's necessary to be able to grow. And I thought, um, adults don't live in milk, but a baby lives in milk because a, a baby's growing. And then when it gets older, it's able to eat meat and able to eat solid food. And it's like reading the Bible. Whenever you start reading the Bible, you like the simple Bible stories, the little memory verses we learn. But the more mature we become and learn, older we become, we want to learn more about God and more about God. And eventually the deep things about God, and it gives you an appetite. The more this is milk, the more it wants to be milk, the more it needs to be milk because it's eating the right food and it's digesting it and the milk is the cow is bred for milking. They also produce calves every year. Are we going to see the calves put the computer? Reminds me how this is so important. Technology is the way life is going. But the danger of technology is we can rely so much on technology and not rely so much on God. Years ago, farmers never had these here and they seem to have more time and would often spend more time praying to God and going to church and talking about God. And we are in a great danger how machines can often replace people working. This farm is so big it still has lots of workers, but they never ever lose sight of Jesus and the simple things in this life that are very important. 
and whenever I think about God he gives us the air to breathe he gives us the cows to give us milk to drink the food to eat and all these things are very very important we're going to see the small calves now so here we have the newborn calves. In this farm, at this time of year, there's calves to be born every day. They're taken from the mother and then they're fed with the mother's milk into the bucket. You can hear them bowing or calling and they're looking for uh, some milk. The wee bull calves will be taken away and sold off to a different type of farmer, a bull cattle. And then the, the mother, the female ones will be capped up until about two years old. Then they'll be able to be uh, taken to be milked as well. You can see, lovely wee calf, love to suck the finger. And it reminds me of life, just like children, they're born into the world and they go through school, they get up and they become adults. And in many ways, animals are just the same, but these are a creation of God. And it's amazing how they're, if you try to mate one of them, you couldn't. It's amazing how they're able to reproduce and have baby calves just, just, um, just like any animal. They're born, and they're full of life, they're healthy, they're strong, and these are a gift from God. And we should appre appreciate animals and love animals. They're beautiful, a beautiful. Nick, both of them want to drink now. They must be thirsty. It's nearly tea time for them. Nick, he's not used to somebody sucking the finger. And once he's tired, you can see this wee boy's hungry and hungry. And that reminds me of God. Whenever we become a Christian and think about God, we get hungry for God because we want to learn all about him. We want to praise him. Just like this one wants more and more and more and more and more. There's no teeth to bite yet. And we want to just think about God every day and share the love of God. And every time I see an animal like this, it helps me to think of life. And the Bible says, if we've got Jesus, we've got life. But if we don't have Jesus, we don't have life. So even these beautiful little cattle, these little calves, these little animals, helps me to think about the Lord Jesus, the one who gives us life and takes life away as well, because we're not going to be here forever. So when you're young, enjoy your life. Give your life to the Lord Jesus and live your life for him. And you'll see things differently. Look at this one. He's now thirsty. He's tasting. But we can feed both at the same time. <laughs> This is the, the bottle, and the, the farmer will put the milk in here, turn this around, and then the wee calf will look for it. And all these wee calves, you can see they're all different shapes or sizes, colours. This is red and white. This is pure, like a wee brown one, like a wee jersey one. Here's a pure black one. You've got black and white. You've got male, female. And that's like life, like boys and girls, children. And God, of course, makes no difference between the animals, and he doesn't make any difference between uh, people as well. The difference between an animal, of course, and a person. Animals don't have a soul. They can't connect with God, they just want to live, they just want to skip, they just want to eat, but we are different, we can praise God, we can sing to God, we can talk to God, we can read all about God, that's the difference fundamentally between an animal and between a person, an animal has no soul, they can't connect with God they can't go to heaven of course uh, but a people, we can't get to be with God, we can't go to heaven because we've got a soul that, uh, that was broken that was disconnected in the Garden of Eden but Jesus died on the cross to bring us back to God, to reconnect us to God so whenever we believe in the Lord Jesus and ask him to forgive us, to save us, then he reconnects us with God and we can be ready for heaven. And we see everything in a completely new light. And everything you look at, especially the animals, you should be able to see the handiwork of our creator, God. I really enjoyed the farm today, how things have advanced so rapidly over the years and how machines are been able to milk cows and how the cows know to go and get milk. So thank you to that farmer. Now we're going to sing God Made You and Me with lots of other animals.
see all the creatures big and small he loves them all thank you for assembly today really good assembly and we'll see you next time